In a previous mailbag, I showed this uh, adjustable DC to DC step down converter. It comes uh, complete with uh, an acrylic case. As you can see, this is the product page on Banggood. I uh, got this module from Banggood for uh, $6 with free shipping. It's a very compact module with uh, an input voltage of uh, 5, to 5 to 23 volts. And they say here that the uh, best input voltage is uh, 20 volts, which makes it uh, ideal for usage with uh, an old uh, laptop power brick. And uh, apparently you can adjust the output between 0 and 16.5 volts using these uh, tactile switches on the left and the right of this LCD screen. We also get a voltage and current measurement displayed on this LCD and uh, uh, we get an overall efficiency of 95% uh, which is uh, typical of these uh, DC to DC converters. So in this video I'm going to assemble the acrylic enclosure and uh, power this uh, module up and see how it works. So I'm finished peeling all of the uh, protective films from these uh, acrylic uh, pieces. So let's start assembling this. This piece should go in here because it has these uh, slots for feeding wires into these uh, wire connectors. These ones should be the lateral walls. Oh, I forgot to install these um, caps for the push buttons. They go in there. And this is the bottom side, sealing and keeping everything together. So now I notice this thing doesn't stick together on its own very well. So it will probably need some glue to keep it together. It's nice that they have uh, included these um, caps for the tactile switches because you can easily press them, but it doesn't quite uh, stay together. So you'll probably need to use some glues between these uh, panels. So because it doesn't uh, stay together on its own, I'm going to take it apart and uh, let's do some tests on this, uh, this module and I'll figure out the, the enclosure later. So first let's check the accuracy of this module and uh, I'm going to start with measuring the uh, volts uh, accuracy with my Flow 875 So I'm feeding in 20 volts on this side and I'm measuring with the multimeter on the output. So let's start adjusting the output. It seems like we got uh, about 40 millivolts steps increments on the voltage so yeah i have it set for 1.00 volts and it's showing 1.08 on the fluke so about 80 millivolts error let's go to 2 volts yeah the error increased a bit let's try 5 volts So at 5 volts uh, we get an error of about 50 millivolts. Let's try 9 volts. So at 9 volts uh, we have an error of about um, 80 millivolts. Let's try 15 volts. So about uh, 200 millivolts error at 15 volts output. So this is not exactly a uh, lab or bench power supply, but it's kind of accurate enough for powering various uh, stuff like uh, for uh, small tests on your bench. You could power a fan, some LEDs or something similar, and these uh, errors of up to about 200 millivolts won't matter that much. Now let's also try the uh, amp meter on this uh, module and uh, see what kind of accuracy we can get out of that. So I've got my um, uh, dummy load and uh, the fluke is set uh, on uh, amps range in series with the dummy load. So uh, the dummy load is set right now for uh, 299 uh, milliamps. Let's turn it on. So yeah, it's... Uh, 
it's quite accurate. We are reading uh, uh, 293 milliamps on the fluke, uh, but it's only two digits in here, so yeah, it's uh, bang on. Let's try increasing the current to 500 milliamps. Oh, unfortunately, I have to decrease the voltage to be able to increase the current on my dummy load. Let's go down to 5 volts. We're at uh, 500 milliamps. The ammeter on the module is showing uh, five, 490 milliamps. And the fluke is measuring exactly the same. So great accuracy for the ammeter on this module. It looks to be better than the voltmeter accuracy. And let's try the uh, full uh, current on my dummy load, which is 999 milliamps. And yeah, once again, we, we are quite close to bang on. 0 0.99 uh, amps on the module and 0 0.98 on my fluke meter. So yeah, I would say uh, you can trust the ammeter on this module for uh, giving you good measurements. The module also has a built-in calibration function. And uh, as the manual states, if your error is greater than 40 millivolts, you can attempt to calibrate it. If your error is less than 40 millivolts, 40 millivolts then there is no point in uh, trying to calibrate it because uh, this uh, thing will not be accurate uh, in better than 40 millivolts. So, uh, in, in this case, I have uh, induced uh, a larger error so that we have something to calibrate. We have uh, about uh, 700 millivolts error. And this is the procedure. Power must be turned off, uh, the left button must be kept pressed and you apply the input power to the module. As soon as the display starts flashing you release the button and now you start adjusting the uh, value on screen until it matches the value on the multimeter. So as you'll notice, it is adjusting in increments of 40 millivolts. So that is a limitation of this hardware. That's why you can't get uh, better than 40 millivolts precision on this uh, display. So I'm slowly going down until the multimeter will show 4.98 uh, volts or something close to that value. So right now I, I'm at uh, 5.8. Uh, 0 0.02 volts and if I go um, any lower it should drop by 40 millivolts and match exactly 4.98 okay so now I'm at uh, 5.97 and that is as close as I can get to the uh, with this calibration method when I'm finished I just have to cycle power once again and as you can see the voltmeter uh, right now is uh, accurate and uh, it's showing exactly what the Fluke uh, 87 measures. So I'm not sure what kind of uh, micro they're using on this uh, module. It's either one of those uh, uh, STC microcontrollers or it's an STM8S I would, uh, I would bet because those are the uh, go-to solution for these uh, Chinese modules. We, we usually see th those kind of uh, microcontrollers when we buy these. And uh, it would be kind of difficult to take a look uh, behind the LCD glass without breaking it. So I kind of like this module. I don't like, I don't want to destroy it. So I'm going to keep it like this. I'm going to reassemble the acrylic enclosure and uh, use some of these um, transparent hobby glue to keep it together. Or maybe I have um, another uh, kind of... Uh, glue that uh, actually melts acrylic and uh, gives a really strong bond so i'm not sure which one i'm going to use but this uh, will definitely uh, be useful someday for example you could also imagine using this one on the field uh, supplying it with uh, voltage from uh, a bank of batteries and on the output you can uh, power whichever device you are working on on the field but remember, this thing will not be able to output uh, 3 amps uh, as stated in its uh, specifications. That is just a peak current. 
you will probably only get a maximum of uh, 2 amps from this thing before it overheats. Because just with uh, this uh, standby um, current that the LCD and the onboard uh, circuits uh, draw, I can feel already that the PCB is getting warm. So uh, there is no way this thing will, uh, will dissipate um, all that energy when uh, running full blast uh, 3 amps. So links for this module will be in the description below. I will uh, post links for purchasing this from Banggood or from uh, eBay. It's up to you where you want to get it. And uh, let me know what you think in the description below.